Hi, I'm Dame Lillian Walker, and I wanted to share with you today uh, a li little experience that I had earlier today, which kind of shows you when you're in alignment how you have divine downloads that come forth. And I was in between conference calls, and I wanted to post on Facebook, you know, lots of exciting things cooking. And the next thing I knew, doo -doo 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 -doo, I had a string of words that just came out of my fingers that, you know, as they came into my head, they just you know, I typed them out. And then when I finished what was supposed to be a little blog post on Facebook, I realized, oh my goodness, this is supposed to be a blog post on my website and not just, you know, a posting on Facebook. And I also realized that I needed to attach a video to this and not just put the written words. Which brings me to the issue of the written and the spoken word. Words have power Oh boy, yes they do. They really do have power. And so, dream the impossible dream. It's possible. You see, one of the things that we oftentimes in our modern society, we tend to discount and not really give too much attention to, are the words that we speak and the words that we write. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that it is a big deal and that there are clues in the ancient scriptures because as you know I'm sure you'll agree that success leaves clues and in the ancient scriptures we have the ancient scripture that says I can do all things through him who strengthens me that's in the New Testament Christian or Catholic Bible it's in there it's also in the Buddhist tradition Muslim and Judeo-Christian uh, religion as well Kabbalah etc we also have in the Old Testament the mystic, uh, mystical teachings and the fact is it tells us to write down our goals. And if you look at Habakkuk 2.2, just look it up on the internet, you'll see that in Habakkuk 2.2 it tells us to write down the vision, whatever it is that you have as a goal, write it down, put it on the tablets, put it in a public place, and that it will not, it says it will not tarry, that you know you may run with it. And the fact is that when you write something down and then you speak it, there's power and energy that's released because you have made a decision. So that's my tip for today. I want to leave you with this last thought. There are three things that I do every morning before I get out of bed in the morning. The first thing is I give thanks for 10 things that I'm grateful for. So I encourage you, whether it's the roof over your head, the bed that you're sleeping in, the blankets that are on you, whether it's your 10 fingers, 10 toes, both arms, both legs, think of the people who have either been born with birth defects who aren't as fortunate as you and as I am, or people who have lost limbs due to unimaginable circumstances. And yet here you and I stand with 10 fingers, 10 toes, hopefully, both arms, both legs, perfectly normal in every visible way possible. And so for that, you should be grateful. So I want you to, to uh, begin that practice of 10 things that you're happy and excited and grateful for every morning before you even get out of bed. Secondly, send love and light to the three most challenging people in your, in your life today. Just from your heart space, just send that love and that light out. And then thirdly, ask for divine guidance. I don't care what your religious persuasion is. This has nothing to do with religion. This has to do with your God-given connection directly to God, to infinite source intelligence, to the great creator. I don't care what label you give to him because he doesn't care and neither do I. The bottom line is you're a soul, I'm a soul, and we just were issued this particular body at birth, you know, and it was given to us through the vessel of our mother. We were issued this model. <laughs> And so it's a temporary free housing that we have, and it was issued with a free, uh, free deed of will. So we have free will that's inside of us. So it's your choice. So I hope you enjoy this post. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like it. Share it with your friends and family. There are free gifts that I'm going to unleash, but... Right now, I'm still putting them all together, which I hope to unleash to you next week. But there's a unique opportunity just for a couple people, actually, that I'm going to make available. We'll be taking applications sometimes next week. And uh, that's all I'm going to say for right now. And we have a sister site called Air on Network TV that's about to launch, which uh, is going to have a lot of exciting things for you. 
So there's only obviously a select few that are going to be getting this video and this blog post. And if you're watching this, make no mistakes. You've tuned in, you've tapped in, and you've turned on. Not by coincidence, but on purpose at the right time with the right people. Because what you're seeking is seeking you. Alrighty, take care. Thank you for joining me today, Dame Lillian Walker. Circle back around to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Peace and love always.